As a first year student at the Royal Veterinary College, we're required to do a lemon placement. It has to be two consecutive weeks. And so honestly, I found my lemon placement the very last minute. Um, if you're in my place, like, don't be like me. It just kind of ended up that way. And I found it maybe two or three weeks before I was meant to, you know, start it. But anyway, God blessed me and <laughs> helped me find a lambing placement. And so here I am headed to my lambing placement at a farm. And it's actually called Animal Husbandry Extramural Studies. All that to say, they want us to get experience, like the hands-on of how to care for different animals before we get into the clinical side of things. And so, this is the neighborhood leading up into the um, farm. Very, very cute. And with my lambing placement, I was able to um, secure one that provided accommodation and food. And that doesn't apply to all lambing placements. You have to find someone that's willing to do so. And so, look at this like their property their farm was amazing i just i was in awe and honestly for whatever reason i thought my first day would be a chill day but baby they put me right to work so viewer discretion in the next three two one so boom here we are um they allowed me to help this you that was having a dystocia which is is essentially a difficult birth I had only done this before in like an assimilated type of ordeal at uni and so when they asked me if I wanted to do it I was like oh uh, yeah sure like why not so I went right in um first things first was to figure out the positioning of the lamb and to try to get it in the correct positioning coming out head first ideally and um you know it took it took a bit but like I think I did well and you can see the ewe um, licking her lamb that she's already given birth to already, which is a good sign of, you know, mothering tactics, making sure the lamb is alive and removing the um, afterbirth from it. And so I think I'm just about there with getting the lamb out. You can see the amniotic fluid and everything. Um, she's not in a great deal of pain, otherwise she would be vocalizing quite loudly and not even paying attention to her lamb that's in front of her. Um, and I mean, yeah, she's in pain, but not like excruciating pain. So here I have the four limbs, which is a good sign, and the head should be coming out as well. in my head y'all like i did that i helped her give birth to her lamb this is my first time so i'm holding it by its hind leg so the um the fluid can come out of its nose and mouth and right now i'm just making sure that it's breathing shaking out any fluid from the mouth the nose and then i'm just gonna remove like the oh and here she is helping me as well good good, good mothering skills um, so just making sure the lamb is all good and um, stimulating the lamb with a piece of straw, sticking it up its nose so it could sneeze any fluid out of its nose, clear its um, airway passage out. So yeah, like I'm out here giving birth to lambs. It's crazy. Like who would have known? And so of course, this was my favorite part of my entire landing experience. Um, beyond that, we relocated sheep and, and their lambs to different areas. And side note, I was deathly sick my first week here. Like, I had hay fever, which is essentially like my allergies just kicking my butt. And then I'm convinced I had COVID. I either had COVID or just the worst cold known to man, but I was pushing through. Um, you see, I'm not running because baby, I could barely breathe. It was just a lot going on. But I meant the most of it. I showed up every day, gave my 100%, even if it was like 80. But that was what I could give. 
But I will say, seeing these sheep and these lambs made it worth it. Like, look at this. My own personal finger warmers. <laughs> oh, and this was my favorite lamb. We called him Bendy because his, his hind legs would not work for him. Um, but that was my baby at the time. And this was another one of my tasks, which was castrating. We are about two weeks in at this point, and I had to, you know, do something to keep me going. So we're off the old school jams. <laughs> So the first task of castrating, you put the ring on the castrator, ensuring you don't roll it on because it can roll back and you don't need that happening. And so what I do is I pull the testes through and I ensure both testicles are in the band. And then once I know that they're both in the band, I pull the band off, off of the castrator. And um, here's mom checking out what's going on. Um, and yeah, that's that. This honestly took me a bunch of tries, like with other ones, to get it right. And here's the tail docking. Do the same. Pull the tail through. And it's all in the flick of the wrist, honestly. Which makes it quick and relatively painless. Now, on this day, I was left at the farm alone, tending to all of the sheep. And I noticed that... I had already helped her pull the sheep out, and so I had to pin her on the wall by myself. Okay, give me my props there because this sheep is heavy. So I finally get her, and my goal is to check the positioning of her second lamb to make sure it's in the correct position for her to lamb it on her own. And if it's not, then I would help her lamb this sheep. And so, um, it took me some time. I don't think I'm even in there yet, but eventually I'm able to position myself correctly and while also pinning her up into the wall. Like, this is hard work, first of all, y'all. Like, shout out to farmers, because let me tell you. Luckily, her second lamb was in the correct position, so I left her be to lamb it on her own. You don't want to cause any unnecessary pain by intervening when you don't need to. And let's talk about my quality time with the lambs after tube feeding them and helping them feed on the nipples. Um, these are the lambs that need that extra tender love and care. They loved me and I loved them. It's so funny because sometimes they thought that I was mama lamb and Oh, mama sheep but look how cute all in all guys I enjoyed myself would I be a large animal vet to be determined but it was great